Okay, welcome back to DIY Hemi Channel on YouTube. And um, we're going to cover the 45 degree oil filter adapter as needed for most swaps, especially your A, B, and E bodies and your Dodge trucks, the you know, first gen Rams and 10 grills, 73 through 93. So it all starts with the 45 degree oil filter bracket. It's part number 530-21612. A E so Alpha Epsilon that's the bracket itself um, what we're going to notice it has two o-rings an inner and an outer and it has three bolt holes okay and it's actually going to go in the same spot as your existing oil filter so we'll go ahead and take this off I already pre-loosened it get rid of it the first thing you'll notice is that it actually has uh, the filter spline right here. So it's this threaded uh, nipple, if you will. It is itself threaded into the block. Um, some of them, just like what you see here on the relocation bracket, has a hex key inside of it. Not sure. Can you see that, Mike? Uh, just barely, but check it out, guys. So you could actually use a hex key or an, an Allen key, as some people call it. That's like a giant it's XD, huge. huh? It's, it's huge, yeah. <laughs> um, some blocks, a lot of blocks, actually, it's the same way here. So you put the hex key in, and you can unthread that nipple. Every now and then, you'll get some that aren't. So what I'll actually use is uh, a bolt extractor. So this is a number six extractor. I actually just put it in there and give it a little love tap. just so it's seated in there. And I'll use a 12 point socket with a 14 millimeter. And what we're gonna do is we'll actually just unthread this out of the block. This is the best way to do this. You wanna unthread this from the block, get it out. Was it? A little longer than you thought, huh? Yeah. Not bad. That's what she okay. said. Yes. Okay, so we're done with this, and let's talk about the bracket itself, the oil filter relocation itself. Yes. So, if you are putting this in like a D150, such as our low buck Hemi truck, or uh, you know, a 10 grill, 7393. You could just simply bolt it on as is. It has the O-rings, three bolts. The bolt holes are here in the block. You could put your little bit of blue thread locker on there so it doesn't vibrate off. Bolt it in and run your oil filter like this and you'll clear your cross member in those trucks. Nothing else is really required. Now in an A, B, and E body you have a little bit of a different problem. Um, this uh, it's really it's a drain lip. You can see it's got a valley in it so when it's sitting in the engine and you undo the filter the oil can come and drain and roll off the end. That's what it was designed for. These you know came factory in Jeep Commanders and Grand Cherokees. It's, it's too tight of a tolerance so you'll look and it'll actually sit super close if not touching in some cases on the K member in an A, B, and E body. So what we'll actually have to do is mask up anywhere we don't want to get shaving so we'll put masking tape over this machine surface and over the threads and we're going to cut right where this curvature is we're going to cut straight across like that so you actually cut this lip off and that'll give you the clearance you need so I'm going to go do that real quick sweet Okay, here we are, we went ahead and we cut it. I decided not to follow my crooked drawing and just cut it a nice, clean, straight line. Um, so we are now ready. I'll take a little bit of this oil, 
Just like on an oil filter, you want to lubricate your O-rings. Like that. We'll get the bolts. I think the bolts are what's that? Eight. Eight. Which I have yeah. right here. I got some eight. Okay. Part number on these bolts is zero six one zero two zero four one A A Alpha Alpha. Okay. I would like to point out that we kind of got this whole filter kit piece by piece um, adapter I mean so uh, recommend you get the whole kit together with the bolts the o-rings and everything and the adapter just save you a lot of time we're trying to remember all these different part numbers and all that right they do sell the whole kit um, you know with the bolts o-rings everything like that um, it's really not worth the money you save piecing it together yourself yeah just get the whole kit yeah, and it was crazy because they were like, oh, we can get the screws in tomorrow, but you got to wait, you know, five days, four days for the uh, O-ring to come in and all that. I was like, oh, my gosh. For an O-ring. Yeah. So we'll look up the uh, part number for the kit for you guys, too. And it's, uh, it's one of those things that it's used on so many Hemi swaps. Sometimes they're on back order. So um, definitely check out your vendor's uh, yeah. They usually keep them in stock. I know Randy over at Bouchelon, he usually carries quite a few uh, in stock. So um, definitely look good around point. and see who, who might have it. Yeah, you never know. We might need to get some. Yeah, you never know. The amount of projects we have. Mm -hmm. Bolt torque on these. It's going to be very minimal. It's going to be like inch pounds or something. Let's see. Should be. I don't ever remember these off the top of my head. What is it called? The oil adapter? Yeah, oil adapter bolt torque. Five seven. Oil filter adapter bolt. Does that sound like it? Yeah. Twenty five Newton meters. Eighteen foot pounds. That's what it's saying. That's too much. Let's see. SBC oil adapt oil filter adapter is that it? A small block, surely. Yeah. I'm gonna set these all. These are all at four foot pounds, which is plenty enough for that. Now that we have the 45 degree oil filter adapter in place. Uh, we wanted to kind of cover you with some differences you might see. There are different 45 degree oil filter adapters out there. Uh, so the one that you commonly see used or sold online nowadays is, you know, the, the overall shape is the same, but it does not have a port on this bottom side right here of the adapter where um, you would thread in uh, like a temperature sensor and it was real common in some of the Jeeps and trucks. Uh, for like four wheel drive trucks to have that. Um, this one does, it's clean all the way through, which I actually like, I prefer, because no one really runs that sensor anyway in a Hemi swap. Um, but why is that important? 
The important, is, important aspect of that is the thread size on the oil filter. So on my car, I actually have the other style 45 degree filter adapter, which has the, the boss for the temperature port. I have a plug in there right now, so it's not a big deal. But when you do have that style 45 degree adapter with the additional port on the back of it, you're going to want to run, uh, I use Baldwin B7221, so it's a very short oil filter, but it has the correct uh, thread size on the oil filter itself. Okay. This is also cross-referenced if you want something more off the shelf. I like Baldwin filters uh, because they have really good filtration. They're very well built. Um, but if you want Wix 51335 would also be, that's kind of the interchangeable. It's more or less the same filters. It's the same height, uh, the same thread pitch, everything's the same. Um, that is if you have the 45 degree oil filter adapter with the port on the, the bottom side right here as I'm, I'm pointing. With these, the ones that they sell now more commonly, it's changed. So you can't run this filter. The thread size, the pitch doesn't match. Um, I think one of them is like a 22 millimeter, whereas this is uh, more like the new truck. So what we run is the oil filter that comes standard on, say, like a 2018 uh, 5.7 Hemi truck. It's This is the factory filter size. It's smaller in length. Some of like the LX platform cars back in the day had a much longer filter and you can't use because it'll touch the K-frame and make it near impossible to get on and off for an oil change. Uh, this particular filter is, we use Wix, so it's 57060XP. So this is the one that we prefer to use here. You can see it fits really well. Mike, if you'll come in right here, you'll see why earlier on we cut, we trimmed the drainage tab on the 45 degree oil filter adapter. If we would not have cut this drainage tab right here, this, this portion, it would actually be within an eighth of an inch, if not touching the K-member right here. This would extend down and touch right there. And that's why we have to trim this, so that way we don't have any contact, nothing actually touches the K-member as the engine rocks from side to side. Yeah, we got some pretty good clearance pretty on good there. clearance now, especially up in the air. You can just, you know, reach, like I say, if you're like this, you could reach up, get to the oil filter, spin it off, and put it on really easily. You know, once it's in the car, like if the car is on a lift. Mm -hmm. So this is... I mean, it's you have to have this for the A, B, and E body swap. You, you have to have this adapter. Now, they actually make 90-degree adapters now. So they're turned even more upwards. They come down and turn 90 degrees instead of 45. Mm -hmm. You can run those as well if you'd like. Um, they're just a little bit harder to obtain, a little harder to get a hold of. And some people run, like, like complete... Uh what do they call it? Relocation, right? Right. You can do that. That's another great option. Um, here's something, as you've probably seen earlier in the video, we talked about the relationship of the engine mount bolt and how you have to have this loose and off to the side to get that bolt in mm -hmm. and then, you know, finish bolting it up. But you don't have to worry about that if you get a complete oil filter relocation kit. What that simply is, it's a plate that bolts here with the same three bolt uh, locations, the bolt mm -hmm. flange. It's just a flat block off plate with two O-rings. And then these two ports here for your oil, you have pre and post oil filter. You would simply thread in an adapter. It's a 3 8 NPT fitting or like a 3 8 pipe thread. You would put in an adapter to go from that to say like a dash 8 um, AN hose line. So you'd put that adapter in there and then you could just run the two hose, one's a pre and a post filter, over to say the subframe with the bracket that mounts an oil filter remotely. So you can do that. And that works pretty well too. Wait, so you would use that port where that sensor is right there? Yeah. You'd take okay. this temperature sensor, see this is pressure, uh -huh. this is temperature. You would take the, this out and these two lines would then be like braided lines that went to the remote oil filter. 
Okay. So you, you can do so that. So do you not need that sensor anymore, basically? You don't need this temperature sensor. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then that relocation kit has ports on it for you to run your oil pressure sensor for the gauge. Gotcha. This is the oil pressure sensor for the engine, for the ECM. This is typically what we use. Um, so for us, we're, we have the 45 degree oil filter adapter. We are not using the temperature sensor. Well, actually, I'll take this out. I'll mm -hmm. take the plug, move it down just to cover the hole. And here I'll run an adapter to go from 3 8 to 1 8 NPT, mm -hmm. and then thread in a factory oil pressure sending unit for a 70 ish CUDA, like a 70, in this case a 72, it's the same thing. Thread it in, and then run the sending unit wire up to the gauge so the factory oil pressure gauge can work. Mm. Cool. Or let's say if you have aftermarket gauges, I think this car does have console mounted aftermarket gauges for mm -hmm. oil pressure. You can just put the tap the oil pressure from right here. You want to use the top one. Okay. So you just run an adapter right there. It's up to you. This or a remote mount oil filter kit. Sweet. That's it, man. So we we're good. We're getting good. We're gonna put the uh, the the rock shield, the scatter shield on here. Once we get the torque converter bolted down, and then. We get that scatter shield, that dust shield in, we'll put the starter in permanently, and uh, she'll be ready to go, man. She's looking good. All right. Stay tuned, guys.